So next I want to talk about the polygon tool. And the polygon tool is, is cool for times when you want to show a certain area of land. So say in a geologic feature where maybe by looking at just the, the um, satellite image it's hard to see, but if you have a polygon there that's differently colored, maybe that makes it um, uh, look or maybe stand out in a way that, that allows everyone to see it. So we're back here at Lake Okoboji. And I'm deciding that I, I really want people to know where the lakes are around Lake Okoboji. Because we have Lake Okoboji and then we have Spirit Lake up here. And they kind of fade into the background. They're nice and dark and blue, but, but they're still a little hard to see. So what I can do is I can come up here and click on the Add Polygon tool. So notice that our dialog box over here is very similar to the one we get with Add Place Mark. We have an untitled polygon. I'm going to name this Lakes. Lakes of Northern, Northwestern Iowa. So I label that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start clicking points around the different lakes. So uh, what the polygon tool does is it allows you to create an overlying polygon over whatever your uh, area is. So this crosshair is here. This this allows me to click a point and notice how now there's a, there's a point. If I get close enough to it, it's green. I can move it around. And then if I leave it, it, it remains blue. So I'm going to click here because this is kind of close to the edges of this lake. And it can be very, very precise or it can be, um, it could have just been a triangle. But I'm going to just trace it here and I'm making lots and lots of points. So notice how I'm pretty close to the borders of the lake. Not perfect, but I don't want to be exactly perfect. Okay, so I've done this polygon here and now I can manipulate it so I have this polygon that I've clicked around click click clicked and now this is a polygon that's showing up so I can change the style and the color you can change the stuff with the lines say if we want a nice dark black thick line we can do that and you can make it thicker by clicking uh, the width maybe we want it four so it's a little hard to see if it's black if we make it uh, grayish or maybe green or a nice, let's say yellow. I like yellow. That'll be easy to see. And we say, okay, you can see this nice thick yellow line that goes around. And then the area, we can also color that. So you click on color. Maybe we want it to be, you know, a, a nice um, turquoise or something like that. And we click OK. And now this, this lake is really standing out. It's hard. It's going to be hard to miss this lake. You can also control whether it's uh, outlined or filled or filled and outlined, we'll leave it there. The opacity again, um, if you take it down below 100%, it creates this uh, partial transparency effect that we can see here. So now it's even a little bit hard to see this magnification, but if you look over here at Okoboji, you can see that some of the picture of Okoboji is coming through the, the polygon, and if I crank it down to 25%, it looks like very, very little of that green, that, that turquoise color that we created is actually still there. Now if we crank it up to 75, now you can see the effect. So you can decide if you want it to be transparent or not so transparent. That's really up to you. So we'll click OK because we like this. And now this is the polygon. So notice unlike the icon, so as we zoom out, notice how the icon gets bigger with us, but the polygon remains small. That's just kind of the way that Google Earth works. So we come down now and we are going to zoom in on this polygon. Notice also that now that we've created this polygon, it's going to be called Lakes of Northwestern Iowa. And um, it's going to uh, show up in my My Places right over here. So we have that saved in my, in my Places. And say we really want this polygon to be seen from a certain angle. So again, I'm going to change the compass tool. It's going to north is going to point in a slightly different direction and then I'm going to use this perspective tool to bring us up so that we're looking kind of like like a plane would over the lake and I really like this view this is just this is just perfect this is what I'm looking for so what I can do now is just like we did before we can click on this and we can go to snapshot view so I right clicked on this lakes of northwestern Iowa and I'm going to click snapshot view left click and now take us to, I double clicked on Lake Okoboji so that takes us over here 
Remember, this is the snapshot we made for that. And you can also make a snapshot for the polygon. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to bring us back to the snapshot that we made for the polygon. And this is very helpful for presentations because usually there's one, you know, it's, it's a get me from my good side moment. So if you're doing a volcano, you want to get it from that good side, and this is the way to do it in snapshot view. So now we've created both polygons and uh, place marks. The next thing that we're going to do is record a path which can be a little tricky, but it's definitely worth it in some cases to show certain things in Google Earth.